contest is scheduled for one fall and has a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, weighing in 170 pounds, hailing from Cleveland, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jack Connor. Victorious over Dante earlier and able to capture the now unified television title. So I don't think it, uh, I don't think he was too worse for wear. I don't know if his body hey, feels the same look, way. Look how hesitant Steve Mosier is to, to, to check his pads. You never know, he might catch something, he might put a spell on you. He is a creepy individual. It'll be very interesting to see what the youngster Jack Connor does. And he just goes right at Jack Connor. Jump starting this one early. This one. Wow, high knee. Very reminiscent of Harley Race. Alchemy has proven that he can pretty much go with any type of opponent. He's he's very had, versatile, is that what you're looking for? Exactly. And he's so cerebral he's able to adjust to any type of style. We've seen him have a great feud with the Irish Warrior. We've seen him have a great feud with Sean Leader. He can pretty much do anything he needs to do to win. And that very makes him nice. very dangerous. And now Jack Connor skinned the cat back in the ring. Very great. He's gonna come off the rope. High fly cross by. Alcamia down. He is very exciting to watch. Jack Connor, RWA's most improved this year at the award show. Which, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, RWA Legacy, the DVD, now on sale. Hit me up on Twitter, on Facebook. You know how to get in touch with me. I got your hookup. Holla if you hear me. Does that creepy bastard have some tattoo of an eyeball on his chest? 
That's what it looks like. I'm glad in this time off he had some chips to it's, get some ink. It's, it's his third eye watching us, I guess. Arm ringer now by Jack Connor applied. Now came a big elbow. That broke it real fast. Looks like Jack Connor got his bell rung out of that one. Once again, the question of ring rust. We talk to the ring since his very brutal barbed wire ladder match with Sean Leader. Stop me if you've already said this while my headset was off. No, I did not. Of course not, because I am well prepared and you are not. I am a broadcast I analyst. did, however, give the fans the great news that I am back at the table. Well, we certainly missed you. We certainly do thank Mr. E.F. Stevenson for stopping by. Then I had to give him the bad news that you're still here. Well, I'll be leaving you shortly because I gotta go whip some uh, some uh, dummy ass, uh, so to speak. With my, that's good. With that's my good. boy Cipriano. <laughs> Noticeably absent, the rest of the cult. Alchemia seems to be in good shape coming back. Maybe Leader should have taken some time off after that match too. Well, leader victorious over Dante earlier and able to capture the now unified television title. So I don't think it, uh, I don't think he was too worse for wear. I don't know if his body Man, feels the same look, way. Look how hesitant Steve Mosier is to, to, to check his pads. You never know. He might catch something. He might put a spell on you. He is a creepy individual. It would be very interesting to see what the youngster Jack Connor does. He just goes right at Jack Connor. Jump start in this one early. This one. Wow, high knee. Very reminiscent of Harley Race. Alchemy has proven that he can pretty much go with any type of opponent. He's, he's very had, versatile, is that what you're Exactly. Looking? He's so cerebral, he's able to adjust to any type of style. We've seen him have a great feud with the Irish Warrior. We've seen him have a great feud with Sean Leader. He can pretty much do anything he needs to do to win. And very that makes him nice. very dangerous. And now Jack Connor skinned the cat back in the ring. Very great. Now he's going to come off the rope. High fly across by. Alcamia down. He is 
Very exciting to watch. Jack Connor, RWA's most improved this year at the award show. Which, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, RWA Legacy, the DVD, now on sale. Hit me up on Twitter, on Facebook. You know how to get in touch with me. I got your hookup. I'll let you hear me. Does that creepy bastard have some tattoo of an eyeball on his chest? That's what it looks like. I'm glad in this time off he had some chits to it, get to me. It, it, it's his third eye watching us, I guess. Arm ringer now by Jack Connor applied. Now came a big elbow. That broke it real fast. Looks like Jack Connor got his bell rung out of that one. Once again, the question of ring rust. We talked about it earlier with with Alex Corvus. Oh. And Alcamia smartly wrapping the arms of Jack Connor over the ropes and then delivering the headbutts right to the chest. Follows him in off the Irish whip with an elbow. Big collision, and again, just following him right in so there's no chance for Jack Connor to get out of the way. Now he comes a little delayed, but still successful to get that shoulder in there. Big kick. That sends Connor to the outside now. Some fans at ringside checking on him, asking him if he's okay. I'm sure the answer may be no. And now Alcamia dragging Jack Connor around. This doesn't look like Sean Leader. Where is it? Looking for Sean Leader. Looking. No, that's definitely not Sean Leader. No. I thought he knew who he was facing tonight. Jack Connor has way more hair and is, um, well, I'll leave it at that. A little taller. <laughs> and his pants flame. Although in some circles, Jack Connor is mistaken for Marty Jannetty. I can see that. Marty Jannetty was a nobody. Jack Connor's a nobody. That's fitting. That's not fair. Oh, big pile driver from the ropes. Version of an X Factor. Nicely done. Very uh, innovative offense by the Pharaoh Affair. And he just picks him up. Clearly, this is more about punishing him. Clearly, you are correct. It's for punishing and, and sending a message to one Sean Leader. Clearly, that feud has gone very personal. Now, I it's wonder, not about titles anymore. I, I wonder if our television champion, Sean Leader, is watching this in the back. I'm sure he could be sitting down with the rest of the untouchables. Leg drop. Watching this as we speak. Big fist right to the head. Well done, Bill Victor. Very good call. I don't think it's why you do. This crowd's time to get behind Connor. And he pulls him up again. Clearly sending a message. I'm convinced. Obviously. I was being facetious. Look it up. <laughs> Oh, I know what it means. Spell it. I-T. Well played, sir. Headbutt right to the back of the neck. That's not something you see every day, but it's got to be very effective. Well, in your course of travel, when you get up in the morning, go to Dunkin' Donuts for your 14 bagels and 12 English muffins, I mean, I don't think you've come in contact with too many people heading but headbutting somebody in their back. But here in the RWA, it's quite common, actually. As you sip your Kool-Aid, that's it. Sip, sip your Kool-Aid. It's the Bill Victor Kool-Aid. You want some? No, I don't know what you It'll make you a smarter man. No, I'm quite smart already. Thank you very much. It will make you understand how things really work in this world. Oh, I understand. The rich get rich. Connor the ducking it. Poor. Big back elbow by Connor. Fire by Jack Connor. Jack Connor fighting back. Well placed drop kick by Jack Connor. He's got the cover. Wasting no time. We got a two count. Steve Mosher says only two. It was a well, half a count away right there. Well, his nickname is slow count, so obviously it's a two count. Apparently that's just something you that's something you nicknamed him. That's all that matters. Dropping him knee first. Rock drop go coming up. No, Bulldog instead. Again, over for a cover. Again, only a two count. A lot of fights still left in Crimson Alchemy. You're not going to beat Alchemy that easy. We've seen what it takes to beat this man. That goes on. 
delivering illegal punches. Okay, man, fighting out of it sends him down in a big clothesline. Sends him down unceremoniously. Crimson taking his time yet again, removing part of his uh, wardrobe. Remove that glove or that. Stalking Jack Connor right now, pulling him up by the hair. Connor fighting back. Here it comes, rock drop and roll. Big counter! Oh, fucking flail. Great counter. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Alcamia has come away with this one. Let that be a lesson and a message to Sean Leader. As he's not done sending his message yet. Sean Leader's not one to back down from a fight. If he wants something with Sean Leader, he can get some of Sean Leader. You hear him calling out Leader's name and he just and continues the assault. Right now, Steve Mosher better duck and run. Mosher getting out of harm's way there. If I was that cameraman, I'd be taking a couple steps back too. Ladies and gentlemen, Crimson Alchemia means business. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Crimson Alchemia victorious over Jack Connor.